It was reading week. We read books. It yes, was great. Real books. I chose Game Changers by Dave Asprey. One thing Dave recommended was to journal about your failings. This kind of follows on top of our journaling challenge. Check and out that video. <laughs> and now I've been adding a section to my journaling every night where I record my failures of the day and take a moment to internalize and thank myself and appreciate that I was bold enough to try those things even if I actually failed at them. It's a good way of reframing how you think about failure in your life and making it a positive that you're always trying to achieve new things. And I read Eating on the Wild Side by Joe Robinson. And I learned some very disappointing news. You know how orange is my favorite color? Yeah. And I literally only would eat carrots because of the main fact that they were orange. This shed some light that that was never supposed to be their destiny. I'm gonna read it to you, um, tragically. So, uh, you might have noticed that orange carrots have yet to be mentioned. In fact, orange carrots did not exist until 400 years ago when plant breeders in the Netherlands crossed a yellow mutant carrot from Africa with a local red carrot. And the impetus for this botanical merger is that the men wanted to ha honor the House of Orange the princely dynasty that had spearheaded the Netherlands' revolt against Spain in the mid-16th century. Amen. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, really, really great stuff. Um, a ton of insights on other foods and, and preparation methods, um, how to get the most nutrients, bang for your buck, out of your vegetables, so. Good. That's S done. So, what was it like reading every night? It was just like a dream. I'm kidding, it was actually really hard. Like, I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I found that it was extremely challenging to read when my eyes were just like about to fall asleep. One note I would say is that when you're a kid and you don't have all these distractions of, you know, Netflix and work and making food and all of this stuff, it's so much easier to just get lost in a book. And I really miss that. As an adult, I feel like we always say, I kinda wanna read, I wish I read more. Well, you can, you just need a time box yourself, but you've gotta pick the right time. And I found that getting up earlier and setting aside half an hour to 45 minutes to read in the morning was actually more beneficial for me. For me, I've always found audiobooks as a much better form of consuming books. Even as a kid, I had actual cassette tapes that I would listen to audiobooks on. So sitting down and actually reading a physical book it was a little bit of a struggle. I found that it, I, to get through information significantly slower, I couldn't do it while I'm walking on the go. However, it did have an incredibly therapeutic effect. I found I was sleeping better after reading. I really enjoyed taking a book, sitting down somewhere, enjoying a drink and just relaxing and reading. Probably something I would consider more the activity itself rather than a quick means of consuming the information. Clearly from all of these videos, we've been on a bit of a health kick. So the books we've chosen are very much informational, uh, educational books. And in some uh, advice from biohackers that we've listened to, it's really important to kind of find something that's a little bit out of your realm of work. So not reading like a trade paper or like how to succeed in business right before you go to bed. It's actually really helpful to kind of get away from that. So for us, you know, reading about health is kind of a nice, you know, kind of triggers a different part of the brain. Because reading at the end of the night is really about turning it off, not turning it on. And so if you're just rekindling everything you worked on during ha, the day. Get a Kindle. Wow, I did not intend that. So you want to find something that distracts you, that takes you to another place. I think that was reading week. That was reading week. Oh man. Time another to chapter. Oh boy. Oh dear. Another week. Another challenge. Here we go. Man, that's really become our signature catchphrase, hasn't it? I like throwing things too. Sometimes say it at work. <laughs> <laughs> Takes on a whole new meaning. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
All right. Here we go. Oh man. Just one shuffle. No, just no, at least two shuffles. Okay. okay, here we go. Here all week, folks. Another week, another shuffle. Oh man, oh, pick well. I'm, I oh, always go for wow. the middle, so I'm gonna go for the outer edge. Yes, just pick outer it. Outer banks. Oh god. Ba ba ba. Minimal food. Minimal food. So for this challenge, we're gonna be getting down to the basics. So simple, whole foods, no processed foods, no dressings, no sugars, no nothing like that. That's all. We have to have that. Yeah, um, I will become a desiccated husk. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching and tune in next week to see us eat really boring food. We'll make try and make the video as exciting as possible. <laughs> we'll overcompensate. And uh, remember, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button and we will catch you on the next one.